I follow both you and Andrew Tate. You agree on almost everything but chastity. He says you can't really know a girl before you sleep with her. He kind of has a point. Please comment on that. I think the exact opposite, that you can't know a girl when you sleep with her. That's, that's where he's completely wrong. I don't follow him. If you say that we agree on everything but chastity, he's wrong and I'm right. Just think about what happens when you lay with a woman and you start having all those oxytocin releases. They say that when, and this is scientists say, you can go look this up, that when you, when you ejaculate, when you have an orgasm as a man, it is literally the same chemicals as a hit of heroin. Boom, a hit of heroin into your brain. It sets off a big explosion in your brain of all kinds of hormones and neurotransmitters. Do you think you're seeing clearly when you just got a hit of heroin after having sex with this girl? You can't see her. You can, you know, and now here's the thing, because people have forsaken the way we are intended to know one another and think that the only way we can get to know each other is by having sex, we've forgotten the real way to get to know someone. So just so I can clarify, having sex is the worst way to know a woman. What, what practical information will you get from blowing your load in a girl? Does, is she a screamer? Is she a bleeder? Right? Does she, does she, what, what? Is she do it like the girls in the porn movies? Uh, what? Sex is sex. I think we made sex out to be way more than it really needs to be. All I require from a woman, if she's gonna be my wife of sex, is don't deny me. You just never deny me, right? And I'll leave it at that. Otherwise, it's just, first of all, it's, it's for making babies. And most of y'all are having sterile sex anyway. So it's like the whole point of it goes out the window, You're just blowing sterile loads into a bag or she's on hormones that make it body think she's pregnant so she can't get pregnant. It's all ridiculous anyway. Just think about if contraception didn't exist. You wouldn't be boning anyway. So you could see more clearly. Anyway, bottom line is you cannot see a woman and she cannot see you clearly if there's emotional entanglement. It's the worst way to know her. But if you really want to know her, you really want to get to know a woman, you got to meet her family. This is where courtship comes in. And this is why I believe that the future will be with those who court, not date. Dating is about how quickly we can get into bed with one another so we could get blind with hormones and fall into emotional love and have a roller coaster of a relationship until we get so dumb that we get married or the court says that we're married because we've been living with, living with each other unlawfully and then your life is a mess. It doesn't work out. In fact, studies have shown that cohabitating and fornicating couples have more incidents of divorce than those who waited till marriage. Check out the statistics. It's not me just making this stuff up. They don't want you to hear that statistics because they understand that the more that men fornicate, the more they fall into hypnosis by women. And the more men are hypnotized by women, the more the advertisers and the music and the media control men through the women. You ever see that video with Tupac where he says, you got, if you want to make hits, you gotta make music for the women. Because if the women like the music, the men will follow the women. Watch Tupac, he's super smart when he says that. I don't know if you, where you can find that, but go on YouTube. Tupac, make, make hits for the girls. He understood as an artist, as a media producer, you create it for the women. Because if you create the hits for, if you create music that men like, the women are not gonna follow. Because men follow women that are giving them the gush. Women that spread their legs are, have, are like a Pied Piper, and men are just gonna come following them. So if the producer, the music maker, the media, the music, uh, the movies cater to the women, even if it's stupid, all the guys will follow. I remember when I was a young beta male, I used to listen to like, I would like certain music that I really didn't like because I knew girls liked it. Like Spice Girls and dumb shit like that. I remember like, I hear some of that music now, like from the early 2000s or like the late 90s. I hear it now and I'm like, man, I remember, I remember going to the club, I remember going to a bar and, and singing and dancing to that with some salute. That's, that's, that's the way men think when they're getting sex or think they're gonna get sex. 
you forget yourself completely. You can't even see yourself, much less see a woman. You can't even remember yourself when you're boning like that. So Andrew Tate is wrong. You want to get to know a woman, you go to her home like they did back in the days when people did courtship. You talk to her father. Her father will tell you about her. You talk to her mother. And the problem is that most parents, they suck anyway. Most, most parents, they don't know anything. So you're, just gonna, you're, gonna, you're not going to learn that much from them, but you could ask questions. Ask her little brother about her. See how she treats her little brother. You want to know about a woman? Watch how she treats her father and her little brother. Watch how she treats a man that has authority over her. Watch how she talks about a man that has authority over her. And watch how she treats a man that's beneath her. You'll learn everything about a woman by those two relationships. Mark my word, you'll learn much more than having sex with her. Because when you have sex with her, you instantly become beneath her. Because now she got you on her, she got you on her leash. Oh, oh, you like that? You like that little hit? You like that little hit? Buy me this. Take me there. Do this, do that. This is where most of y'all end up. And there's, there's the select few complete psychopaths that can have sterile transient sex and feel nothing about it. Is that a power or, or is that lacking some essential sense for ultimately having healthy relationships? I don't know, you tell me. If you wanna be a sterile trans transient uh, pussy pumper and have no feelings about it, I wonder what kind of dad you're gonna be. I don't know, just think about it.